Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. I am continuing with my Mo You London ABC series. I am on the letter M. This is Mother Nature and it is plate 08. It's the only one I have in this collection. And I believe it's the only M in my collection. It is another safari looking plate. So love it. But it's very similar to one I did um, not very long ago. So I'm going to try to do something a little bit different. So for this one, I am going to, I think I'm going to try kind of a rainbow type thing. I'm going to do something completely different. But to start, I am going to paint these nails with some white gel polish and cure them because I want the colors to like really pop and sometimes on a clear tip they just don't. So it helps if you do a white base first. This gel polish is from Babe Bar, or is it The Babe Bar? The Babe Bar. It's one coat white. All of our stuff is very retro and disco, 70s vibe. So this is her white gel polish. <clears throat> I also have her black. And I have her gel paints. They're like, again, they're like names, some kind of disco names. Don't remember what they are, but. A really good quality. <clears throat> They're professional quality. She's a professional nail tech. I am not. So they're not, um, they're not cheap. But I was looking for nice gel paints because for a while, Madame Glam didn't have their white and black gel paints, which are different than just gel polish. Anyway. In my search, I just happened to come across, I want to say her probably Instagram video or something. I don't know. And so I decided to order the gel paints from her because they look so good. And since I was placing an order, I figured I'd buy some other stuff as well. I've been having them for a long time. It's not new. I just don't usually talk about it, but... Look how good they level. They level so nicely. Really good one coat application. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the lamp. So ever since I got my new nail desk, I keep moving furniture around and experimenting with different things. And so I keep losing everything. Okay, so these are the Born Pretty fluorescents that I just got. It's a fluorescent neon collection. Um, I was in the under the impression that they glowed in the dark as well, but I don't think they did. But that's what they don't have to glow in the dark. This blue kind of doesn't seem to go with the collection. Okay, so I put a bunch of random little drips on. I don't know if this is going to work. I've never done this quite like this before. So we're just going to try.
Mm-hmm. I better have my brush. I mean, my sponge. Trying to kind of get the colors in different spots, but that one kind of pinkish purple that I have in the middle, it's kind of taken over the middle of everything. There's a lot of pink in the middle. These are somewhat translucent when you just paint them on. That's why it's taking kind of a lot of extra, but I'm okay with that. Oh. All right, I got a little bit of a rainbow effect going on. I'm gonna quit messing with it because otherwise I will just keep messing it up. I don't like that little speck right there.
Hmm. I don't know why this monkey is here because it's I don't know, it doesn't seem to really fit with the theme, but like it seems a little bit more cartoony to me. Than the other ones, but okay. <laughs> this will definitely not be my favorite. My favorite. <laughs> That's so goofy. It's so, so goofy. The black is running so low. I mean, I have other blocks, but. Okay, I'm only using these like colors, cloud looking swirls. That monkey, it's awful. It does not go. This is like Lisa Frank ish. And the last one, I think I might just do the birds just because I don't, I don't know. I'm not feeling the rest of it. I just don't feel like it's cohesive. And by that, I mean the animals. Like, I don't think the silhouette of the other animals goes with the leopard or panther or whatever it is in the, um, that goofy monkey. I'm gonna fill in birds where I can. So, because I kind of did this something similar recently, I wasn't, I wasn't very inspired, as you can see. And if, if I'm not like really feeling a plate at the time, you know. Your creativity can be a little um, hindered, I would say, is a good word. I'm going to slap on a nice thick gel top coat. This gel makes everything better, unless you have an allergy. Gels is so thick, it um, just makes everything look so 
encapsulate it. This monkey is jacked. And I didn't notice it, but the ombre kind of got a little, it's a little bit lighter than the other ones. And the monkey on its own in another setting might be cute, but it does not go with this, the anything else on this plate. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the lamp. This shine E from Eno Couture was gifted to me by a friend and it is so good. I love it. It's almost empty and I'm gonna be very sad when it is completely empty because I really, really enjoy it. Can I just say I really love this time of the year when they start releasing all the cheesy horror movies. I love cheesy horror movies. And I like, uh, I prefer good ones, but I'm just... I just love horror, so I will watch all the cheese and everything. I think they're just whatever. I have so much black all over me because I stuck my hand in the black polish. Look at that. Let's get rid of this. All right, Mother Nature, here we go. All right, so now that they're top coated, I'm not hating them. I still think the monkey doesn't doesn't quite fit with the plate. I just think it's weird, like by itself, like it just doesn't go. Super weird, but it's still a little cutie. I really like these just for any kind of just abstract. The birds, I could have did something a little bit better, but this is what we have. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.